How can you brainstorm hundreds of domain names in only about five minutes? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hello YouTube and a very special hello to all my subscribers. My name's Phil and you're watching my channel, which is all about my progress at trying to build my online income. So I'm a member of Project 24, which is set up by Jim Harmer and Ricky Kessler over at Income School. And uh, this is basically what I've been doing to try and generate uh, income. So uh, if you haven't seen the channel before, don't forget to subscribe and also give me a like. Um, so what we're going to do today is talk about domain names. It's possibly the most important decision you make after choosing your niche. So there are three main things to think about. The first thing is you definitely want a .com. Uh, even if you live somewhere like the UK and you, you don't want .co.uk, you definitely want to go for the uh, .com. It's just something that people are a little bit more familiar with and uh, you're more likely to get uh, the American audience to click on a .com than a .co.uk. And for the most part, we want to go for the American market. The second thing is you want to try and choose a domain name with only two words. Now, um, a lot of people will tell you this is impossible, all the two-word domain names have gone. Well, I don't think that's true. Um, all of my three main websites are two words, and uh, it wasn't too difficult to find them. You just needed to uh, do a little bit of brainstorming. And um, the final thing is you should definitely have the main keyword for your niche in your domain. So that's what we're going to do today. And I have built my own little basic tool that in Excel that will help you do this. And you can find hundreds of domain names, two word domain names I should add, hundreds of them within a few minutes. So let's do that. Let's go into my computer and I'll explain exactly how you can do that for free. Okay, so uh, we're in the computer now. Um, so a lot of the ideas that I've, I'm going to be talking about today are kind of like developed from conversations with other people uh, through the Project 24 community. Uh, if you don't know anything about Income School and Project 24, then you can check out the link in the description, which will take you to the webinar. Uh, this is an affiliate link, so just be aware of that uh, when you click on it. Uh, I would get a commission if you join the community. Uh, or Project 24 I should say, which I think is a, a great thing to do, I've, I've really benefited from it. Uh, so I've developed a lot of these ideas from just what I've been hearing, what I've, uh, what I've heard from other people. Um, so I was looking for a way to quickly generate domain ideas and to try and make sure I get a two word domain. So what I did is I actually created my own basic tool to do this and I'm sure you can find tools online that do the same thing. But for me, I couldn't find anything that was free. Uh, I'm sure that some of you could suggest uh, paid versions to do this, possibly a little bit more quickly. So if you do know of a way to uh, brainstorm domains and search them en masse, uh, please leave me a comment because I'd like to share that with other people. But this is just a free way to do it. It takes a little bit of extra work, but you can do it in a, you know five minutes or so. So uh, this is the basic tool I created in Excel. Uh, so what we do is we have a first keyword and a second keyword. So if I was to put in um, a keyword, so um, a niche for example, um, well I know that in Project 24 like pet niches are quite popular. So we could put in um, the first word here, pet. And all I need to do, I'm just going to populate this, drag it down a couple of times. So I get pet there. Um, so it gives me the first and second word and then my domain version one which will be a two word uh, domain eventually and then I can also put in um, it will automatically populate the second keyword and the first keyword so for example if I put pet um, I don't know owner just as an example uh, you see how it just populates uh, pet owner owner pet so obviously uh, some of these keywords will they will work better in the first position than the second position. But this is a quick way just to give you both versions and you can search it later. Okay, so the next stage is to think of that second keyword or that additional keyword uh, that goes along with the keyword for your niche. Uh, so uh, let's think about it. So the best thing to do is to go over to thesaurus.com and this will just give you synonyms of words that you want to look for. So um, let's think about it. 
Um, so if I'm thinking about pets, uh, perhaps I want to think about uh, I don't know, pets are loving, so I can put loving. You know, we love our pets. So my pet dog Mia certainly love her. She's a bit of a nightmare sometimes. Um, okay, so we get loads and loads of these uh, synonyms here for loving. So all I do is I'm just going to pretty much just copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my, uh, I might put loving in. And then I will just put in all of those keywords. And it auto, you know, automatically populates that in this little tool that I made. And then what I do is I go and I copy the domain version 1 right down to the bottom. Just copy that. And I'm going to go over to a website where I can search domains on bulk. So it's called name.com. And you get to the page here. The first thing you want to do is to filter by TLD. So what I want is .com. So I'm just going to type .com here. Or I'm going to type com. And it will give me all the .com. It will give me all the .com versions. I won't get .org, I won't get .co.uk or anything like that. So then I literally just gonna uh, literally just gonna paste all of those domains in there. Um, well, actually, I might have to just populate this a little bit to the to the end there. Okay, look. So let me do that again. Uh, so all those domains ideas, I'm gonna just put them in there and I will go over to domain version 2 I'm going to do exactly the same thing and just put it there and I just press search and uh, it might take a while so you can see for example uh, pet loving which sounds like quite an interesting domain um, it's for sale but it's one of those premium things but uh, you know pet admiring pet affectionate pet Amiable, pet amiable. It, these are all available, okay? So sometimes um, having the niche as the first word, the niche key word is the first word, and the other word after it doesn't make sense. So pet earnest, pet faithful, pet loyal, uh, it's a premium one. Um, okay, why don't we go down and we'll see on the other side. So uh, loving pet is gone. Admiring pet. Eight ninety nine uh, here. Um, affectionatepet.com, uh, attentivepet.com, benevolentpet. So you can see there are still plenty of two-word domains out there. Um, so it, it, here it just tells you if it's available. But I definitely would not buy it from name.com. Um, you can get it cheaper some other places. I tend to use um, name silo. I think it's called .com. Um, Sometimes they're the same price, sometimes you can get it for cheaper. Uh, okay, so we can also, let's have another look at another version. So if I get rid of all this. So let's say we wanted to niche down. So uh, pets obviously is quite a big niche. Let's say instead of pets I just want to do um, go with dogs for example so I might put dog dog there and again I'm just gonna populate it right down go back to the top uh, so if I'm thinking about dogs I can think yeah it could be uh, we had the same idea loving so I could I could use the same ones here See what comes up. Loving. I loving can't spell. Uh, populate those. I could also think of um, so adventurous. I tend to go running with my dog, and she she loves coming out on trails in the in the forest and stuff like that. So she's quite adventurous. So I could do that. Put so I put those in. Adventurous. Uh, what else could I come up with? Um, so I thought of loyal. So, you know, loyal dog kind of makes sense. Uh, so I put those in as well. And what else? Uh, so I could search for friendly. So I put all the synonyms for friendly in there as well. And uh, what else I could think of? 
I thought of easy, easy dog. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Let's see what we come up with. Um, so, okay, and what else? Um, obedient. So definitely um, obedient there. I'll put those in. Uh, so, um, here I'm getting the synonyms. So, of course, don't forget to put in the original words. So, um, I had friendly, loving, obedience, things like that. And uh, so, just by doing that, a couple couple seconds, just searching for synonyms, I've got uh, 224 rows. So, what's that? 223. So, that's giving me uh, 446 possible versions of this. Of course, as I said before, some of them, you know, they just don't sound quite right with the uh, depending on what order we put the um, the domain in the uh, keywords but okay let's just put those in and I'll do the other way around version 2 with the same thing okay down to the bottom okay I still got the dot com so if I search for this see what we come up with um, Dog caring, okay, that's premium. Um, dog devoted, gone, okay. Dog earnest, okay. Dog faithful, possibly. Let's let's go down. You can see there's lots and lots of these two words um, types of uh, of domains here. Uh, let's go down to where dog isn't the first word. Oh, all the way down there. Uh, right, still dog, still dog. So many of them. Uh, okay, so um, what have we got? Uh, AdmiringDog.com, AffectionateDog.com, AmiableDog.com, they're all there. Um, RomanticDog.com, that, that'll be an interesting domain. You could do um, maybe a dog uh, dating service or something like that. Um, what else? Uh, amorousdog.com, same sort of thing. Uh, we've got, uh, so sometimes here we've got bound.com, updog.com. Um, when you have a gap in the the domain, it will come out as two different things. So you can just remove the, the gaps. You can use Excel to get rid of gaps. Is a simple way to do that. Um, so we've got yeah, warmheartedDog.com, courageousdog.com. They're all here. So these are like two word domains that you could use. And of course, um, if we go back, we don't have to just use dog. I mean, you could think of, um, I don't know, doggy, you know, or you could think of uh, canine, for example. And you can think of all different types of uh, keywords there. So basically, this is uh, the quickest way I thought of doing this for free. So it just involves a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, you know sort of brainstorming the type of words that you want, and then you put it into this tool, and you can just pretty much copy and paste this to name.com, and you can go through and get an entire list. And the great thing is, if you go to the bottom, you can even download the list, so you can keep that for later and uh, just go through it um, and choose choose the best one for you. If you want to pick up this tool absolutely for free, just head over to my website at incomeschoolstudent.com slash domain tool. And um, if you have any other ways that you can do the same thing, any paid or unpaid tools that you know of, don't forget to leave a comment in the uh, comment section and we can just share that information among us. That's the main idea of this channel, to help you uh, with your own journey towards uh, building an online income. Um, just by showing you what I'm doing and all the mistakes and successes that I'm having along the way. So if this is something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also give me a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.